be interested in how to clean rust off cast iron, one method is to use vinegar. And here I have double strength cleaning vinegar, uh, which is like 10%, I believe. Anyway, that is not required. You could use regular vinegar, but I have this. And it is cleaning vinegar, so I'm going to use it. So what I'm going to do is fill up my sink with, well, not fill, but I'm going to do enough to submerge the item. And what I'm going to clean is the new little pan that I bought, which, you know, you've got all this little rust and all those little tiny crevices. And, I mean, the back's easy enough to clean. You just scrub that off and it'll clean. It almost comes off with rubbing it with my finger. But all those little crevices can be a bit nasty. On the other hand, I could probably just scrub that out with a brush, but I will soak this in a vinegar water solution for, oh, maybe an hour, and then I'll check it. So, let's see here. And because this is double strength vinegar, I probably use a little bit less than what I normally would. Okay, at this point the item is submerged. And hopefully that seal in the sink will hold. Okay, and we'll let that soak for an hour and then we'll come back. Okay, well I have used a little scrubby on this a little bit to uh, work it along. And it is getting some of the rust out. But it's only been about half an hour that this has been in the vinegar and water. And yeah, there's little black bits all coming loose. I'm going to leave this for a while yet. And I may come back and forth and scrub it. Just because of all the little crevices, I want to make sure that they're all good and clean. Okay, I've let this sit in vinegar and uh, vinegar water. I've used my little scrubby a number of times to loosen up any rust. And then I've gone over this whole thing with uh, a bit of a, a scouring soap pad. I'm going to do that a little bit more. And uh, at that point, I'm going to rinse it off really good. And then it's going to go in the oven to dry it all off before I season it because you want it completely dry. <laughs> you don't want to season it with the water in there um, because that will just seal in and seal the liquid in and make it rust more. So, And I found that it was these little crevices that probably held the rust a little more firmly, like the ends. So I'm just taking a little bit more precaution and I've done this twice now. This would be the second time I've gone over it with the scrubby pad or with the steel wool pad, what we call an SOS soap pad. And I've run my little scrubby over it a few times as well. So I want to do this in the sink so I don't get that all over me. Now, I don't know if you could see the water in that sink, but it's got all kinds of little particles in it. This is where the water and the vinegar solution are that it was sitting in. And this is where I'll be rinsing it. So, the water and vinegar certainly loosened up a little bit of rust. Now I could have just left this in longer, but as I want to get through this process, I work it physically a bit, rather than just letting the vinegar do all the work. Anyway, at this point, all the rust is gone. I don't see any rust at all, but and I have scrubbed the back a bit. I can do that a bit more again. Of course, you want to do the crevices as well. But yeah, there's no rust on the back anymore. I've cleaned off any rust that was there. 
and uh, this is ready to go into an oven for drying. And I don't think, because of all those little crevices, it's not adequate just to leave it to air dry. It really has to, at this point at least, be dried with heat. Okay, and before I'm ready to put it in the oven to dry it up, I showed it to Mark, and he gave me one of his brass brushes, and I'm going to go over the edges here with it just to make sure that I have all the rust out. Probably doesn't need this effort, but it won't hurt either. There's always a little bit of elbow grease needed. Just a little bit more with my scrubby. This fella will definitely have to be dried and seasoned a few times. Okay, I think we're good to go. I'm going to check it again in the sunlight. Looks pretty good to me. I don't see any rust on that now. But we'll give it another double check here. Okay, I've got a very old cutting board out to put this pan on and I've just taken it out of the oven and it is hot but it is dry and now I'm going to start the seasoning and it is my cutting board that is not straight here but anyway I don't want to burn the counter so this is what I'm using I don't care if the cutting board gets damaged okay so I will be putting a number of coats of Crisco in this. Um, first, literally, liberally, and then I will be wiping some of it away before it goes back in the oven. But first of all, I want to make sure that every little crevice is coated here. And I've got the oven set to, I believe, 400. It could be a little higher than that. So this is the seasoning process. And I probably should do the back as well. But right now, as I'm more focused, and this is very hot, I wanted to make sure that there was no liquid absorbed into the metal and uh, then sealed in with oil, with, with uh, seasoning grease. Okay, so that side's done. 
I probably should have done the back side first, but live and learn. May do that the next time around. Okay, so I will do the back side at least once. It's not as important as the inside, but it should be done as well. And every little crevice, it's a good idea to coat it all. And as I said, this is quite hot. Okay, next stage is to wipe a lot of this away. What you want to end up with just is a slight film and not soaking in oil. You do not want to puddle it. Okay, turn it around the other side. Same thing, I do not want to puddle oil in here. So I want to wipe away any loose or any puddles. Okay, so that's first stage, first seasoning. And it doesn't even look like, well, it does look like there's a very thin film, but that's what you want. Okay, so it's going back in the oven now for an hour. Okay, timer has gone off. It's been in the oven for an hour. Time to pull it out and season it a second time. There we are, looking good. And yeah, I'm happy with that. This time I am going to, and when I put it in the oven, I'm putting it in the oven upside down like this so that if there's any oil that I didn't wipe out very well, it won't puddle. So anyway, this time we're going to start with the back first and get some more paper towel here. And I can feel the heat coming off this thing. I have to be careful not to touch it. least not without an oven nip. <laughs> okay, and as you can see it's pretty liberal coating here again. And this time I'm going to let the back soak in while I do the front. and even paper towels coming out cleaner. Actually, I'm gonna do something else here. I'm gonna use a silicone brush just to make sure that I slather this on really good. So one advantage with silicone brushes, you can get all those nooks and crannies. And without having to worry about burning yourself. Looking good to me. Got a lot on there. Okay, we'll let that just absorb a little bit. And I want to do this at least three times. And we'll see where we go from there. But it should be well seasoned at that point. And of course, the more you use it, the better seasoned they become. I don't know how much I'm going to use a cornbread pan, but one can, you never know. Like cornbread is not a staple in this house. But there's no reason why I shouldn't use it. Okay. Now to once again 
wipe away all the excess and wipe it away real good. Yes, I think I liked using that silicone brush. Craps in my hands. And the corners are, should I see the ends are where I see the puddles forming, so that's why that's getting a bit more of a wipe down. Okay, that looks like it's wiped down pretty good to me. And now for the back again. Don't slide on me. You can see where a bit of the rough casting is on the edges between them because that's where the paper towel seems to fall apart. So it's obviously a bit more of a rough casting there. Okay, once again in the oven for another hour and it's beginning to look real nice. Okay. okay, let's see if I can get this cornbread out of this pan now. <laughs> I just don't want to risk any third degree burns here. <laughs> Mostly successful. I just have to make sure next time I use about half the batter for this pan. Hey Mark, cornbread for you. <laughs> Would you like some good? Mm. Now. That's pretty pan. good, but it's pretty hot. The pan? Only that one stuck. Oh, and I could feel the heat coming off this thing. Got to well, that's it good. Okay. Pan's pretty clean. I just got to brush this out. I'll wait till it cools a bit, though. Um, where can I put this, Mark? Right over there. Thank you. So, my first cornbread in my new cornbread pan. <laughs> This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. Hope you enjoyed this little experiment, I guess. Catch you in the next one.